welcome to my channel, Inspired by Nature. Today I am doing something a little bit different with this video. Um, with everything that's been going on, I haven't been able to get out into nature and be inspired by it directly, so um, just being out in my neighborhood in Santa Monica, I started to notice all the amazing murals, which I had seen before, but just uh, had a newfound appreciation for them. So I decided to document them and um, come up with an idea for a way to use them to connect people since we're all kind of disconnected right now and in our own spaces. So I invited people to uh, choose a mural from the pictures I had taken and just um, send me a voice memo describing what it meant for them or what kind of feeling it has you know, evoked in them. So um, I had a few volunteers, so thank you so much to the volunteers who um, have participated in this. It's, um, not about me this time, it's just kind of about how to find beauty in the area around you, so urban nature in this situation. Um, and yeah, I just like to do more. There's more murals out there, so if um, people are interested, uh, I definitely would like to do more of these. And um, I got one kid to volunteer for this one, which was super cool. And I'd also like to get uh, more children and then do some multilingual ones as well. So if you're interested, um, please reach out, comment below um, if you'd like to participate. And at the end, I put one, um, it was basically the first new mural I had seen that popped up. Um, during this quarantine and um, I just kind of left it there for you to interpret the way that you know it speaks to you so feel free to you know take that in and take it you know to your heart for what it means for you and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy this um, check out my channel if you are new to it um, definitely would appreciate if you subscribe if you'd like it um, and hit the like button the thumbs up button but uh, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, thank you. Inspire by nature. My name is Ken Steiger from Burbank, California. I think what initially drew me to this mural was the word gratitude, mainly because I know in the last several years I've had some bouts with problems and difficult times, and I've discovered that the concept of gratitude always gets me through to the other side. And now here we are in a situation where we're quarantined, safer at home, and those of us who are hikers and lovers of nature are grieving the fact that we are not able to do that right now. And therein lies the second part of this mural, the flowers, the beauty behind the word gratitude. And that made me realize that in reality, there really is always beauty if you seek it out. An old adage says, what you focus on increases. So if you seek gratitude, you will indeed find grace just makes sense. And that's my impression of this particular mural. Thank you. I'm Becky from Surprise, Arizona. I used to live in Santa Monica. I definitely miss all of the creativity and art and community over there. I've kind of been around the world and lived many places and I would definitely say that the Santa Monica area has the most inspiring murals I've ever seen. The bridge to Terabithia, the perfect mural of my heart. My heart is already there. Now if only my body could be too. I was born in Thailand. I'm a war and I'm five and um, I live in Surprise in Arizona. Love peacock feels loving and it looks like a flower with a heart but it's pretty cool. I love it. 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 I love, it. I love you. My name is Joe Mullick. The mural I'm talking about is Unbridled. There are horses on the Santa Monica Pier. In 1916, they were hand carved by the Philadelphia Toboggan Company for the carousel on the pier. For 100 years, the horses have gone round and round and round to nowhere. Except in David S. Gordon's magnificent mural. Released from their moorings, the carousel horses frolic. They explore. 
Their glassy eyes fill with whimsy. They're unbridled. With human beings quarantined, animals have been unbridled around the world. Lions in South Africa sunbathe on vacant streets. Bears in Yosemite rumble down empty hiking paths. In Los Angeles' Griffith Park, deer graze and lounge on the 150-yard marker of a driving range. In quarantine, I'm in captivity. But is that really new? How many times have I bridled myself, taken the path of least resistance, done things simply to please others? The pandemic reminds us that life is short and uncertain. We must resist the temptation to stay on the carousel, going round and round at a furious pace to nowhere, because the only way to live is with joy, exploration, and following your heart. Unbridled.